Sports. It's in the game.
Eastern Conference and Western Conference hostilities are renewed on the ice tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski, along with Ray Ferraro for EA Sports, continuing coverage of the NHL. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. The Bruins take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Hellebuck's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Marshawn's able to move his feet and fire pucks at the same time. His naked snappy zone ability is that quick shot while moving in stride, and it's how he likes to create scoring chances. Shifley's got that snipe zone ability, which is that wicked accuracy from shooting when the puck is nice and settled. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Puck grab by Schmidt. The Jets move to the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Shifley. They score! Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. The Jets have turned it up to 11 here early with that goal. They told us this morning that they wanted to attack early. They thought that the other team might not be ready for a quick start. Turns out they were right. The Bruins have it from their own end. Poked away in the offensive zone by Connor. Pasternak swooping in on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the call is. I don't know that there's any time for an undisciplined penalty that could be a good one. With a one-goal lead is definitely not it. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. You never know when your opportunities are going to show up here to tie the game. Well, I don't know if a power play can be any bigger of a chance than that. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Lowry's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Bergeron's won the draw. Boston's got the puck along the wall. looking so effective as this one just did. They talked about getting traffic to the net. They talked about building secondary options. They were doing that this morning at practice. It came to game time, and they cash in. This game is tied. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Picked up along the wall by Lindholm, and that's knocked away. It's a two-on-one rush. Gets in front of it. Moves it to Wheeler. And a stick break set up. Picked up along the boards by Wheeler. Sends the pass down low. Puck scooped up by DeBrusk. And now it's grabbed by Halla. And look at this. We've got a two on one. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Boston's got it, and they're on the attack. And that's intercepted. He might have a step here. All alone! That's some smart heads-up defensive play by Bergeron. Winnipeg's got the puck. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Boston's got it in their own zone. Lindholm's got it into offensive territory. And he takes a shot. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. And that pass can't connect. Boston's moving it up the ice. Takes that pass back at the point. Great read as he crouches down to block it. And we've got a leader as he tucks it into the net. These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. Two 
parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. The Jets have gotten themselves off to the start they wanted with an early lead. Always better to play in front. You can dictate the matchups. You can dictate the pace of the game. And he regains control of the puck. And he makes the save. Nice feed from the goaltender. Right up the gut, here they go. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Poked away in the defensive end. Passes ahead from the right side. And that's picked up in the defensive end. The Bruins have continually put themselves in good positions defensively tonight. It seems like every shift they're stealing a puck. Well past the midway mark of this period, Winnipeg's got the momentum with a one-goal lead they'd love to add to that. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Smith. Off a stick. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Played big in the moment there. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Grislyk. Good read with the stick to break that up. A chance right in front. Oh, a clutch save! Hellebuck's made an excellent stop. He's got a step. Oh, and that's broken up. What a great effort. Man, that's never say die right there. He's beaten and he knows he is. But he's got to get back into that play somehow. It's all effort to break that one up. Here's a short pass to Shifley. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Frederick's got the puck. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it. Great extension on the play. Intercepted. And a quick all alone. Denied! I don't know what more could be done there. That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. And he denied that opportunity. Stays with it. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Connor. Taken by Perfetti. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. And now it's grabbed by Morrissey. Hangs onto the puck. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the right side into the offensive zone. A cannon from the point! What a stop as he puts up the fire! Scooped up along the wall by Schmidt. Bergeron's got it in the offensive zone. Works it across to Wheeler. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, the first job's going to be to kill this penalty off, James, but maybe they take a chance down a goal to see if they can get a shorty. Shifley is getting a chance here on the power play, guys. He knows his zone ability could help them generate a good scoring chance. Let's see if they can strike. That's blocked. Oh, what a Stop on the play, gets all of it with the paddle. Moves inside! Scores with a man advantage! Over the last couple of games, the signs were there that this power play was going to break out. They start to move the puck around and don't score. Tonight, they move it around and they do cash in. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Jets have now gone ahead by a pair here in this second. 
Stretching out the lead here in the middle frame gives you a little bit more flexibility on the bench. The coach can use his whole lineup. Dumps it into the ozone. Tries to get the puck over to Bergeron. Here we go, it's a two-on-one. Oh, comes up with a stop. Grabbed along the board by Lindholm. Oh, it stops him again. Hellebuck's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Dubois has been nabbed for tripping. The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. Most power plays I was on, James, we were all greedy. If you had one or two earlier in the game, you wanted three or four. It never lays down. Gets it out of his own end. The Bruins gain possession. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got possession while undermanned. They move the puck out of harm's way. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Quick feed to Krizlik. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Handles the puck at the point. Denies him, he got all of it. Dubois is ready to go. Drives to the sweet spot. Stopped by the goaltender. Hellebuck's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3 1 is where we sit. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Trying to clear the zone. McAvoy slowed down with the hook, and the official's arm is in the air. Here comes the call to the official. So much of the game's read and react, and sometimes your reaction is to slow the other player down. Not with the hook, though. That's two minutes. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. They've already been successful on the power play. No need to change anything, but you can't lose the urgency that made it work earlier in the game. Quick pass to Marchand. The Jets will kill off a few extra seconds now. Boston's in transition. The Bruins take it across the line. Musa quickly over to Bergeron. And the puck, he's got a little jump. He's in, all alone. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Looks to set up at the point now. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. The Bruins take it along the wall. Denies that opportunity. Dillon's got it in the defensive end. The Bruins fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Winnipeg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Takes the feed from his netminder. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Makes a move in front. Slides it back to the blue line. Puck picked up by Pasternak. Pokes it away in his own end. Can't get it to go. Here's the chance. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And he stands tall in goal. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Can't connect. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. A shot. Puck grabbed by Ehlers. Knocked away with the stick by Grislyk. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Into the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. Moves with the puck. Oh, a couple of fancy moves. In all along the front. Huge save on the breakaway. Really good patience in net by the goaltender. He outweighted the shooter and then made the stop. 
Puck scooped up by Coyle. And that's off a stick. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Driving right to the front. And he elects to play the puck. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Bergeron's one possession. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Along the half wall with the puck. And now he angles it across to Lindholm. Denied that one. Make the save, help yourself out at the same time. Good stop, but the better part is that he gets the puck away from the front of the net. Morrissey stick handling in his own zone. Taken along the wall by Bergeron. Maintains possession. Can't get a hold of that pass. And they keep the pressure on. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Comes up with the steal. Moves it to Lindholm. Cuts into the paint. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Boston's got it along the wall. That pass doesn't go. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. And there's the whistle icing the call. More than half the period left to play. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. They've got the puck now. They've got a tired defensive group to play against. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Schmidt's going to get two for hooking on the play. The Bruins send their man advantage unit out once more. Some good, some bad. It's been a pretty average night for the power play, but they'll get another chance here. Taken by Hall. Puts it on net. Makes the save with the ball. Made the stop on the play. So good. A couple of quick stops keep the puck out. Poked away at center by Appleton. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. They'll play some four-on-four. Four-on-four is all about getting the two-on-one somewhere on the ice. Use that extra space to your advantage. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. A chance with the three-on-one. Great reach with the poke check by DeMello. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Morrissey. Tries it to the crease. Oh, he keeps it out with a great reactionary stop with the toe. Yeah, he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Big time save on a big time shot. Boston's got possession here in the neutral zone. Shot on net. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Hillebuck. Here's a short pass to Connor. On the attack along the boards. Rips it from the blind. Oh, he scores. That's three rings. Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all. Here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. 
I think the goalie actually read this play quite well. He looks like he's in position. He's trying to keep up to the pass. But because that pass was perfect, the one-timer beats him clean. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Quick feed to Lindholm. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. DeBrusque, known as a goal scorer, he just hasn't got anything done tonight. Like most of his team, it's been a long night. They're getting clobbered. Quick pass to Stastny. They get a pair on a two-on-one. Great defensive effort there. And that's the hat!